on that next knob. Well, here we are, folks. We just got to Indiana about three hours ago. Unloaded our stuff at the hotel, and now we are scouting public land the morning before opening day. We're hearing three birds gobbling on public here so far. We're just trying to pinpoint right where these closer birds are roosted right now. So we got something to go off this evening to listen for. All right, we'll get our Indiana tag here in a couple of hours, and we'll be ready to hunt in the morning. So there's one goblin there, and then there's another one goblin, or two of them. In relation to the truck, there's one. There's a spine here, and he's like right across that. And then there's was the one further up that way, or is he in, like dead in? He's over to the left a little bit. Across. No, that's the one that's gobbling the hardest, but there's two more. It's just a triangular motion. That was that one? Get in the middle of the triangle and kill. Morning. How you doing? You going for a hike? Yeah, I was out scouting, trying to find out where they're roosting. Yeah, same here. I didn't hear a single gobble. Yeah, same here. Uh, I've been out, well, off and on for about 10 days. I'm not, they're not, I don't know where they're gobbling. I don't know where they're roosting. Hmm. And, you're a, shit. and you're a local too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, guys, you guys from New York? Yeah. Nice area, beautiful hardwoods, nice ravines yeah. around. Yeah. yeah, we liked it last year. That's why we're back. Yeah, that's nice. Well, upstate New York's pretty too. Yeah. A lot of the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck to you. Have a good, good day. You. Nice talk to you. Well, here we are, folks. The night before opening day here in Indiana on public. We don't know much about this property. We don't know nothing about pressure. We just barely touched the edges this morning. This is a huge chunk. We did see and hear turkeys gobbling on it. We got a few waypoints marked on Onyx. And the weather's turned bad. It was great this morning. They're having a freak storm tonight. They're supposed to have about two inches of snow, 30 degrees, but Tomorrow morning it's going to be cold, but during the day it's going to turn into possibly 50 degrees. Uh, opening day, you take what you can get, especially on public. So we're going to try to see if we can either see a long beard or hear a long beard tonight before dark and have somewhere to go on. And we'll give it a shot. You got to use what you got. So here we are and we're going to do it.
gonna do. I'm gonna shoot the strutter. Here we are, opening morning in Indiana, public land, got it done. Three long beards ended up coming in, gave me about a 12 yard shot, awesome hunt. Called them in with the contractor, cartel custom calls, box call, cedar box, cedar lid. Use that, switched it up with a couple diaphragms. I was using the candy paint and the swipe right. Switching that up, I was also using the crock pot slate call that we have. Switching it up, different hen sounds. They were answering different calls at different times, making it sound like a whole flock of turkeys up here. And eventually, boom, they gobbled within 20 yards of us, right behind us, came right around. Left side of us came right around to the decoys there, gave us a good show, full strut, picked the one out, and boom, tagged out in Indiana. Snow in the woods, looks awesome, love it, like it, dream about it. And now we're gonna go down and see what the hook gonna be. I love this do-it-yourself public land hunting. It's just a big rush, I love it. Mm, nice bird. Had a little pearl going on on them spurs. Heavy bird. These Indiana birds are known for a rope on them. Oop. Sorry. Shot double. Didn't know about that. Shot a... Oh, come on. Come on. That's an Indiana triple. I don't know, man. Triple beard. Public land. We ended up getting that triple beard on film that hunt in Iowa and then to end the first part of our turkey tour this season we got a triple beard in Indiana on public I love it man this poor bird looks like he got mangled a little bit flopping around down here in the snow bank but I'm happy with that bird I'm happy with that hunt as pretty as it's gonna get full strut spit and drum gobbling all around the decoys right on top of this finger of this red oak and white oak ridge and it just worked right to a t worked out perfect of course we were set up for them to approach from the other way and they end up coming right at our back and end but you can't you know it's it's the truth man you well, yesterday we scouted them and they came from down there yeah. And they met three long beards here and two came from way down there. And then I guess that's probably what happened because the three came from behind us here and two were down here gobbling and they were coming together. And there's some hens that showed up after the shot. Yep, that is very true. Yesterday when we scouted them, first time we'd ever been in here. We're just driving through, trying to hear birds gobble, using crow caw, owl hoot. Come around, birds were gobbling. We ended up driving down the, the uh, gravel road. Birds come from that direction right up this finger. So that's what we set up for this morning. And of course they, they ended up back here this morning but they just did it a little different and they come around the finger on top and down. And it just all came together. 45, 50 degrees yesterday. They were gobbling good on the limb when we scouted. Last night you couldn't hear a gobble anywhere. It was windy, 29, 30 degrees, snowing. Snow accumulated a little bit over the night time. This morning it was 30 degrees. Now as you can see it's warming up over the freezing point and that snow is starting to come down. They gobbled pretty good on the limb. They weren't close to us at all. The closest birds on the limb I would guess was probably six or 700 yards away. But we knew that the birds were hanging out here just from what we saw yesterday. So the plan was to sit, call periodically with different calls, wait till one answers us, then hit them good and get them up in here into the decoys and that's what happened. 
We sat there from daybreak till we shot the bird at about 9.15 a.m. and that's what it takes a lot of mornings. Just have a little patience. Call once in a while and once you get an answer, just feel him out and give him what he wants till he comes up to you.